Welcome back, guys, to Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Well, last episode, continuing our pristine peak stages, we took on Brothers in Arms as Mario and Luigi fought through Scopers to reach a goal, and then blasting over to an island of dark mess to be cleaned up. With Flaming Stooges to be defeated and a weird brick found, we now continue on near the Winter Palace entrance. I can't finish this igloo without blocks of ice that are the perfect shape. See any around here? Is this a perfect shaped block of ice? Is it a block of ice? <laughs> I'll assume so. Yeah. Or not. I mean, the caution tape makes it feel like it belongs to the area. Ah. How do I give him said blocks of perfectly caution taped ice? building blocks, though. I guess none of them are the perfect shape. They're not round. Though you've got lots of them in the middle, look. Place. Yeah, there we go. It's just the fact that it's way on white. So I need two more blocks somewhere. In a nearby vicinity? Gotta admit, I don't remember seeing any more anywhere. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me guess. <laughs> Could be that they're hidden. Okay, where do you reckon the last block's gonna be? Oh. Not there. Don't need the coins, do I? Do I expect it's gonna be the things close by? Not in that one, that's for certain. Uh, maybe here? That's usually just coins. Why are you making noises at me again, game? One more block. Got one in this tree. Do you sell blocks of ice? <laughs> oh, uh, uh. Yeah. Perfection. Yeah. I say, did that break the block of ice? Disconcerting to have it disappear in such a way. Oh. Alright, thank you very much. The igloo's finished. Thanks to you now. If I could just figure out a way inside. Oh, we didn't build an entrance. Cool. As our intelligence dictates, this is all we can do. Alright, I uh, don't have a flaming stooge for you. So we will do this to the hope that the Flaming Stooge respawns. Hello. Take it we found the owner of the ship. Great horn spoon. The girl, she's still inside the Winter Palace, the poor thing. Who did this? Hang me for a cheese sniffer, son. What? I tried all at the safety, but I was pushed out as if by an unseen hand. Now she's prisoner. Held prisoner by something that goes more dark and twisted by the second, like a noodle eel or tasseled wobble de gog. It's a dark mess tentacle. We've dealt with him before, Mr. Um... 
<laughs> That's Captain Orion. Acting Warden of Pristine Peaks. My friends call me Two Nets. You can call me Captain Orion. <laughs> oh, if only. The girl and I docked here when my boat ran out of fuel. I thought it safe as if it was all abandoned. All but abandoned. If only it was. Captain, once we're inside, you need only to follow us to find your friend. Also, just for the record, that's a push door, not a pull. Neither here nor there. She's held prisoner by something that grows more dark and twisted by the second. Like a noodle. <laughs> I take it there are ghosts inside then. <laughs> Go inside, double time, push door, not pull. The region should be really comfortable with this place. Abolish the puddle in the palace entry hall. So annual price expo, sure. I've already bought the uh, the key, so I could probably spend up on memories now quite nicely. Uh, or designs the whole. Wow. Deep freezes, lone wolves. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does not pop up for us to automatically get them. This latest mutation of curses has been integrated perfectly into the environment on Pristine Peaks. A cunning and aggressive predator that works to immobilize its prey by getting in close and freezing it still. Even in defeat, it is a threat, launching a final, glacially charged explosion that chills to the bone all heroes within reach. As one would expect, it is especially vulnerable to fire. If only had we had a fire charge one at the moment, then we'd be great. Curse's cunning is endless. If I were not an AI, my studies would quickly give way to emotion. These long-range threats climb quickly to high elevations to achieve tactical advantages and make use of a special attack triggered by movement. They have a sensitivity to fire, but are well protected against frostbite charged attacks. Fire takes them out so nicely though. Thankfully, eh? Alright, that will have spawned a fair few bits, which we're about to feed to some friends. I guess this guy's coming with me then, Captain Orion. A cold greeting. See, this was wondering why that thing up there was level 17. Now you kind of know, don't you? There's a whole dungeon waiting for us in here. What was that? <laughs> Oh, I think it's the guys we fought before, but I'm not sure. Hey, let's speak of... Pyrogeddon. Pardon me, just wondering if you've ever faced Sea Stooges before. Their dash is a splash super effect that will bounce you hard. Afterwards, each time you're hit or dashed again before the turn is over, you'll bounce again. It's called being splashed. That's a lot of bouncing, I know, but if you win, I get to leave with you. How's that for motivation? Okay. They are weak to spark. And we do have a lot of spark. Guys at the back with fire weakness. Uh, it just seems to be, what is it, eight? Yeah, eight enemies, which means more are going to spawn in that we're going to need to kill. These are the two times damage scopers. Let's manage up, change up the team. To, obviously, a dash team's best. Let's face it. Let's keep Luigi. We'll put in uh, Edge, who's just amazing at this kind of thing. And who's got the next most dashes? Is it Rabbit Peach or just Rabbit Mario? I don't like the two of my guys here are, have lower HP, mind you. I think it's those two. Oh, I should have done the sparks as well. We need to unleash Edge with that crazy power that Edge has. I don't know why, but I feel like it's best to put that in the secondary slot. Uh, apart from that, you having shock attack from range is probably pretty good. Basically means you can eliminate someone. 
Or we could go with Pyrostar and try to get him to snipe the snipers. But generally, I think a lot of the time... We just aim to get Rabid Mario in a position that it can just completely wreck things, right? <laughs> that seems to work! As for the other ability here... We'll just take the boost power. But Ethering makes certain other things stronger too, doesn't it? Oh wait, I'm trying to press start on it. So four dashes. Several guys. <laughs> Let the power of emo, the power of edge make me strong. Remembering that that double dash actually counted as one dash. That's pretty good. Um, I might just see how far we can get. Because if I can get to there, then I can do some work, right? So we can wipe these up with these two. Then send them through and with shenanigans of bouncing. I mean, she sounds quite weird, most of the time. Wow, wow. Like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> okay. Come on! I need you to deliver me in range two of them. And then I'll dash. Move it. Because every time I dash, I get further on the dashes. Which means I can now reach this guy. I think Rabbit Mario can just reach these two to take the mail. So if I front all damage up on this guy... this is going to work out for me now when I think about it. So I could definitely get those two. Just wondering about getting the uh, snipey guy up there. As long as I can reach the bottom of those steps, I think I can make it all the way up. And then I can beat you that way. If I attack you from here... I should be in cover. Oh, wait a second. There's a pipe here. There's a pipe! I didn't see the pipe. What's my best angle, then? More? I would say here and then steely stare. Because if they do come through, I can light them up. <laughs> I thought the pipe was just a boundary. To be perfectly honest with you, I really did. Okay, it can't actually get through. Oh, that means these guys are wrecked. Because I'm pretty sure that Edge can reach, yes. Off you go. Off we go then. That guy should have done something like the sniper waiting thing. Being better off. These guys are just like, they're like, hmm, nothing can go wrong for us, I'm sure. Like, no, everything's going to go incredibly terribly wrong for you right now. Trust. Life is very bad. Two uh, 
Make things less bad for you, to be perfectly fair. You are spread out. Which is definitely better than you than it, for you than it could have been. I'm gonna tap that one so I get two, but I don't. Interestingly, that's a zero percent hit. So if I attack from here to that guy there. Anyone else? I think you know exactly what we're doing here, right? But yes, I may as well weaken you first. There's no reason for me to just go in yet. Hey, 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 hey. Could you just not set anyone else on fire? That'd be great. Thanks. We've run out of enemies. Luigi's like, I actually haven't done anything. I've just followed everyone around. Okay, this is an interesting group here. Yep. Do you think this carries on to the steely stare? Oh yeah, thanks, Daphne. <laughs> okay, so I can't hit this one. Interestingly, if you change weapon skins, they don't show up otherwise. So I'll just wait here. Interesting that it was that one first. <laughs> Luigi's like, I didn't do anything until now. <laughs> That was a bit of a wipeout. I probably shouldn't have used all my uh, special talents on that go, considering now no one can do anything whatsoever. Interestingly, I was actually too effective at my job. Listen here, you. <laughs> still alive, still alive. We only need to kill two more enemies, so one. Then we get you to... If I go to team jump to there, you can't reach that guy still, can you? <laughs> that said, we're just sending both through so they can do attacks. Yeah, I can't get into dash range, which is kind of sad. Oh, that's going to be interesting, actually. Both can't really reach. Wait a second. I don't need both to reach. I need one with range to reach. Now you fly. Wait, yeah. As long as the guy that has range can reach, anything is possible, right? Okay, you haven't done anything yet, I don't think. So you can not only shoot this guy. The further range I am away, the more damage I do, remember? Oh, 
Unfortunate non-critical. Job done. One down. So that time around, we were too fast for the actual battle. I feel stronger. Which is kind of interesting. The, the stage does not give me enough enemies to play with. All right, Pyrogeddon has joined the team. Is that or is that not a fire-based dash ability? Assuming that it looks like that. No, meteors with the burn super effect rain upon enemies. Each deals... Oh, so it's just from a radius from us. So it's like the poison one, but not. That's different. Okay. But we can upgrade guys again. So what are we going with? Our fire one's too good. 350 now. Let's go Pyro Star. Next one is level 21. Seems random. Like not on a 15, 10, etc. So put us over the limit of straight up defeating some enemies we couldn't before with those dashes. As for our heroes, of course, the skill trees keeps growing. We've still got one skill tree that isn't even on the list yet. But yeah. Considering everyone's got one and I don't think they're going in for anything specifically at the moment. It's all about just kind of waiting till we can power up something like this. Additional steely stair charge. Doesn't seem like we're going anywhere with the usage at the moment. I mean, I could always do movement. That would seem to be the best one. I mean, the halo increase was pretty good too. But now we're just using it a bit nicer. We've got critical dash. Each da following dash deals... Yeah, it's just kind of like save up. A lot of people's stuff right now. We've got to remember that Peach also just has the ability to just go bedoing and smash people without any worry. It's upgrading our sparks for some more instant damage. Only a couple of percent, but we'll do. made a daring escape from Cursa, yet even at risk of capture, he made sure to pay his harbor fees beforehand. Okay, that's not my question about like him making his daring escape. I'm just wondering who painted that already? Here's the master navigator, uh, uh, holding his map upside down while trying to find a rest stop with a bathroom. Yes. <laughs> I need some explanations. You at the end of the hallway. <laughs> I'm going to have to fight you to get there, aren't I? No matter what, you'd fight me on one way or the other once you saw me. Better just get in there. Smash them down. Just a little bit more. Defeat all. Two. Two. But there is four. They are fiery boys. Um. Well, I mean, I should heal up maybe a little bit after the battle. I don't know. Two. Okay, the rest are at the end. I'm guessing these guys are fine with being sparked too. So it's a case of just sends a certain someone through the tube again, right? Right. I think that works for me. Let's go. Everyone's well positioned at said tube, after all. Because <laughs> once she's gone through the tube, this radius will now start to seriously extend itself. And again. And again. Oh, I can't reach that dude. 
And again. <laughs> wow. The other one lived. I mean, I've got water dash here. So no matter what we're taking this one out. <laughs> That'd be annoying if it ended up out of bounds so I can hit it again though. Luigi's the third wheel of, <laughs> of Rabbit Marion Edge. <laughs> It's not really the maps for Luigi, is it? We better off putting like Rabbit Peach back in or some such. All right. Everyone has their uses. Captain Orion Memory. We met a curious figure in Captain Orion, the de facto warden of Pristine Peaks, after we crash landed there in his ship. This fisherman of the cosmos, who lived a life of quiet solitude, was overcome with worry over someone who he recently rescued, who wandered off inside the Winter Palace. How do bioforms create attachments so quickly? It seems as much of a curse as a blessing. Humanity, eh, robot? Baffling. Well, I can't go through there now. But I guess on this side, there's probably something too. Well, that was hidden a bit. Just a bit, because there was only coins down that way. Okay, sparks required 15 of 19 to be able to take on the big madam squasher. I don't know. We could take on the big Goomba. Seems that every stage is designed for you to come back later. More or less. To fight whatever big enemy there is. When do I go back to Beacon Beach and try that Goomba? be the ballroom. Imagine all the lively waltzes, polkas, and foxtrots that took place here. Yeah, wow. Pretty crazy. Of course, no ballroom is complete without an elaborate locking mechanism to the upper floor, like so. Divas often lock themselves behind doors like these, so ballroom architects devised ways to unlock them using switches. There are two other doors as well. Let's find out where they lead. Maybe we'll find a book on ballroom etiquette. Maybe we will. I guess I've learned about divas today and the fact that architects generally made sure they could get into their room, which is kind of creepy, actually. Orion faced a comet eater and lived. But ask to hear the story and all you get is grumbling about fuel costs and wholesale prices of celestial fish. Your prices are important. Uh. Orion ran out of fuel and called his insurance company for deep space gondola assistance. That's a face for itself. Why is people making artwork? <laughs> and then they're just... <laughs> they end up with these descriptions. I don't know how to feel about it for them. Yeah. And we're not allowed to look at this one. So I'm assuming this is a turntable thing Lady in the end. Vanessa. The former region of Pristine Peaks. Legend says. That after trying her first pumpkin spice latte at Palette Prime, she vowed to remain there in exile forever. <laughs> what is it with this pumpkin spice latte? I've never tried it. I don't think I ever will either, to be honest. Lord Magnesium. Previous tenant of this here place, you know Palace. He jumped ship from Beacon Beach when he discovered they had six popsicle flavors instead of only three, as they do here. Okay, then. I don't think we met. I don't think we met. So which statue do we want to go through? It looks like ice and fire places, doesn't it? Ooh. 
Great horn spoon. I'll be barrel boiled in jelly goatfish. It's the ghost of Winter Palace. Not a ghost. That's one. That, that's what a curse is. Spark hunters. Oh, okay. Not a ghost. Well, at least Luigi is thematically appropriate yeah. to be here. Yeah. Animal live hat. Winter Palace hidden hallway. Thank you for a random planet coin. It's loud enough. That's just wind noises coming from out there. Makes me wonder when I'm going to be under an ambush. Wait, you can just go out here? Oh, that's confusing. What's that first room for then? Whoa. Take free items, that's for sure. Okay, we should probably check what was in that room before we just move on wholesale. Maybe it actually all loops around. Hello, spark kind of person. Okay, never mind, there's uh, multiple different hallways. Oh, okay, so you can only go a certain way, like some kind of like Lost Woods scenario. You can hear directionality wise, you can hear that. No, you can't hear directionality wise which way to go. Well, okay, then I'll go right. This seemed to work after all. Maybe there's something I need to do over here first to, uh... Open up the way for later. Two... Two... Just trying to see if there's any difference between the doors. Yeah. Are we just going to have to learn the route? It's starting to look like it. And that's a red fiery door. There's a lot of breakable ones over here. Ah, something tells me it might be behind here. I have a weird suspicion. Okay, left or right? I choose left. I'm a failure. Obviously, I should have known. They would have made it right-handed. There were more of us! <laughs> Right isn't right, necessarily. God. Oh, uh, uh, okay then. Not that way? Oh, wait a second. It could be one of those go back through the way you'd already been. Zoom, zoom. Could be that too. Left doesn't work, right doesn't work. Backwards. That's wrong, too. Okay. We haven't tried this door yet. Oh, shut up, you. All 
Right, there's got to be some kind of clue that I'm somehow not seeing. Or there was a hidden doorway. That I didn't search for. Yes, hidden doorway. <laughs> it's not even like a sequence puzzle. There we go. Okay, one down. Uh -oh. Most importantly, nothing's trying to kill me. I mean, that's always the most important point, right? Just wondering if there's more stuff out there. Don't want to miss anything after all. Okay. We now need to turn you around. Do you think this side has the same rules as that side? Just find the breakable... Oh, no, this one's enemies. Watch your enemies carefully so you can move out being seen. Hope your shoes aren't squeaky. It's a stealth section if you don't want to fight. Oh no, I don't want to stealth though. I'm missing all the lovely experience. Math is a stealth sequence. I can still. Ha! There we go. Good. Do I want something to be in those rooms trying to kill me? No. But you know. Got to level up too, right? Defeat all. Got the pipe again. We got several fire guys. I think it's just the same thing as no like last time. Oh, you can't reach. Well, isn't that a little bit of a bind? You're the only one you can't reach as well. Okay, good, we can reach from here. <laughs> Interesting that I didn't actually pass on to the other one. Can't go that way. Hmm. Thing is, we can also get these guys through as well to dash some dudes. So there's more damage waiting for us here. Yeah, than just what's on the board. Okay, so... If I let you jump off me... And your job's going to be eliminating this one. Bye bye. It's all about you picking a foe to get rid of. <laughs> so Luigi could very nearly. Instantly kill this guy. Yeah. 
What do you reckon his chance is actually? 20% chance of 909 damage. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking no matter what, it was probably done with. Good job. Doesn't count in the actual debuff damage, just counts in the stuff from the actual hit. <laughs> Maybe you have to stealth through here to get through this place. So maybe it'll reset me now that I fought one thing. Of course it won't. That'd be silly. I mean, I may as well take that guy on because I'm about to like, yeah. Come on. Boom. I need to put some things some places. <laughs> I can't get through until I do. If I just dispatch you one by one, life would be good. Imagine if it would reset you and change the maze. <laughs> Games don't have that much programming in them. No, I don't know. Uh, seems fine. Let's -a -go. It's about getting Edge as far forward to attack that first one as possible by the look of it. I'm concerned about my damage amount right here. So I couldn't reach, look. Thankfully, this guy didn't die on two, so I have a third. Then I obviously have to go in for these two. But now I have to work on the others and how I'm going to move them up. Okay, well, that's easy now that I've got all the extra distance, right? <laughs> I have an issue. Here we go. Yep. Yes. Oh. Yeah. oh, come on, I could have chained onto the other one. Maybe I'm asking too much. You know what, actually? I think I'll eat a mushroom. I've got them. Here we go. I'm pretty sure this will land in range for a punch out. Keep them coming. Why not? Pow, pow. Haven't got the ability on edge, have I? To yeah. heal up in between pow, battles. Yeah. That just means I have to do it a bit more manually.